Here's a video that started a bit of discussion recently. Let's have a quick look. Uh, the woman takes a light square from the shade and she moves it over to a dark square in direct light and you can see they're the same color in the video. Uh, things don't really work like this in the real world so I'm going to try and recreate it. Uh, so what we've got here is uh, this is my little cylinder and I've got some squares here. So these squares are all the same color. All the light ones are the same as every other light one. We've got A here, that's a light square. And all the dark squares are the same color as every other dark square. So there's uh, square B up there. So I just printed these on the printer. Um, that when I say light and dark squares in the next coming minutes, what I mean is the the color of the paper. So light squares refer to the paper color. It's got nothing to do with the lighting. It's got nothing to do with the uh, the psychological way that we perceive those colors. So yeah, when I say light and dark, that's what I mean. I've also got these two little squares. So these uh, light ones are the same color as uh, the light squares there. And this dark one is the same color as those dark ones. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and recreate the original checkerboard illusion. Where, um, where no squares move, it's just a static image. And I'm going to try and do that by setting everything up in the light. I'll move that over a bit. What I'm trying to do is get square A and B to have the same pixel brightness value. They, they look different, but hopefully if I can get that right, they'll, uh, they'll have about the same brightness when you look with Photoshop or something like that. Now, in the video, something extra happens. One of the squares actually moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this light square here. So that's the same color as square A. And I'm going to put it on top of square A. And you can see that they match quite well. So I'm going to put that there. And now in the video, the woman actually moves that square and puts it on top of square B, a dark square in the light. And you can see when you try this in real life, they don't match. This light square here is not the same pixel brightness value as the dark square in the light. It actually matches with all the other light squares because they're the same uh, paper color. So what you can see is that what happens in the video doesn't match what happens in the real world. And that's why I'm suggesting there might be some kind of trickery going on in that video. Uh, so let's have one quick look at the video one last time. So the light square in the shadow matches the pixel value of the dark square in direct light. So we've just seen that's not what happens in the real world when you try this. Uh, so there's definitely some kind of trickery going on. I don't know if the shadow's painted on or uh, they're using some other kind of camera tricks. I'm not sure. Uh, but it definitely doesn't happen like that in the real world.